Hello and welcome to this video covering one of the major ascending pathways, the dorsal column medial lemniscal pathway. It carries really important sensory information such as light or fine touch, vibration, pressure and proprioception. We can see here a number of cross sections through the spinal cord leading up to the brain and we can draw on our first order neuron which we can see here in red. It's going to have some sensory receptors at one end that's going to send information through the nerve but it's a pseudo unipolar neuron so it's going to have one of those nerve cell bodies that pinches off to the side as the dorsal root ganglion. Information of course flows into the dorsal horn of the spinal cord and the types of sensory receptors could be miscellaneous corpuscles, bacinian corpuscles, or if that information happens to be proprioception, then it would be information coming through the muscle spindle fibers. So it's important to recognize that inside the spinal cord, the first order neuron does not synapse and it immediately ascends ipsilaterally through the spinal cord without synapsing. And it can travel in two distinct regions inside the dorsal column or the posterior column of the spinal cord, either within a tract known as fasciculus gracilis, which is the more medially placed tract. That's where we're gonna draw our neuron continuing. That's in red. Or we can have it traveling in fasciculus cunatus, which is slightly lateral in the posterior column. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. So eventually these neurons travel up ipsilaterally. There's no synapsing yet, but eventually the synapse does occur at the nucleus gracilis or the nucleus cunatus and immediately there's a synapse onto a second order neuron which you can see in blue here and the fibers would cross at this level and this crossing over takes place in the medulla oblongata and that's where both nucleus gracilis and nucleus cunatus live and the immediate crossing over here are the horizontal fibers known as the internal arcuate fibers. These belong to the second order neuron, but as those fibers start to ascend again, that tract becomes the medial lemniscus. So that's how it gets its name. The dorsal column, due to its traveling in the dorsal portion of the spinal cord, and the medial lemniscus due to its arrangement of traveling inside the brain. So the second order neuron is going to go all the way up to the thalamus and it's going to synapse in the nucleus known as the VPL. That's the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus because that information comes from the body and trunk. Information from there leaves in a third order neuron that travels through the internal capsule through the corona radiata of the cerebrum, which is the deep white matter of the cerebrum. So it travels through the corona radiata and then on towards the primary sensory cortex or the somatosensory cortex. So what happens then when we get information traveling in either the nucleus gracilis or the nucleus cunatus? Well this is distinguished by the level of which that information arises. If the information arises below the level of T6 the information travels within fasciculus gracilis. If it travels above the level of T6 then it travels with fasciculus cunatus. In terms of lesions, if we get a lesion at the first order neuron, then we have ipsilateral problems. The difference here between this and the spinothalamic pathway is that a lesion of the spinal cord here will lead to ipsilateral problems. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.